Thank you. I was just debating. All right. Uh, we are live. Recording to the computer has begun. Recording to the cloud all set. Backup is rolling. And good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing on the Committee of Land Use. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video? All staff and panelists, please turn on your video. To minimize any disruptions, please ele place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation, Chair Salamanca. We are ready to begin. Thank you, uh, thank you, Sergeant of Arms. Uh, good morning. I am uh, Councilmember Rafael Salamanca. I'm the chair of this committee. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, welcome my colleagues who have joined us today. We have been joined by Council uh, Chair Moya, uh, Councilmember Adams, Gredenchik, Perkins, Rivera, Deutsch, Ayala, Baron, Borelli. Powers, Chair Riley, Traeger, Kuhl, um, Council Member Diaz, Ruben Diaz Sr., and Vanessa Gibson. Today we will vote on several applications referred out for our subcommittees, but before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. We ask that you please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Uh, thank you, council. From our land, landmark subcommittee, today we will vote to approve LU 711, an application for the 110 Lenox Avenue ANCP cluster submitted by the Department of Housing and Preservation and Development. In addition to the Urban Development Action Area request and waiver of the requirements of sections 197-C and 197-D of the charter. An Article 11 private housing finance law tax exemption is requested for properties located at 110 Lenox Avenue 128 West 116th Street and 1971 7th Avenue in the Manhattan Council District represented by Council Member Perkins. Our approval will, will facilitate the renovation of four city owned buildings for the preservation of 55 affordable units of housing, including 37 cooperative home ownership units. We will also vote to approve preconsiders LU 717, the Landmark Preservation Commission Historic Landmark designation of the Angel Guardian Home located at 6301 12th Avenue in Diker Heights section, borough of Brooklyn and council member Menchaca's district. The Angel Guardian Home was built in 1899 as an orphanage and was operated by the Sisters of Mercy as a branch of their con convent in Clinton Hill. It was, it was designated by George A. Streeton, a prominent architect of, car of Catholic churches in New York City. The Angel Guardian Home's design was intended to express the importance of its social service mission. The building is a brick and limestone structure with details that resonate European architecture. Its grand civic scale and blend of style makes it stand out from the surrounding residential streetscapes. From our zoning subcommittee, we will vote to approve with modifications LU 712 and 713, the Court Theater Rehabilitation Project relating to property in Council Member Powell's district in Manhattan. The application seeks a zoning tax amendment and a special permit for property and special midtown district. Approval will facilitate the rehabilitation and expansion of the existing Court Theater on West 48th Street. It would also facilitate the development of a new hotel building on the zoning lot which would front on West 47th Street. The proposed tax amendment would modify the theater rehabilitation provision for certain eligible zoning lots to allow bonus floor area to be used anywhere within the zoning, with, with, within such zoning lots. And the special permit would facilitate a comprehensive modernization of the court theater. The improvements include a range of operational and accessibility upgrades through the addition of a new structural annex as well as interior preservation work throughout the existing landmark theater. A modification to zoning text will be to clarify and narrow the provision of the special permit. And with that, I will allow council member powers for comments. Thank you, Chair Salamanca and good morning, everyone. Um, I wanna say thank you for 
to Chair Salamanca and also Chair Moya for their uh, leadership and help with regard to the application we're discussing here and voting on today. Uh, the court theater in my district is uh, planning to go under a rehabilitation and it's a project that since I've been in the council they've been looking at and talking about and today it's an opportunity to actually bring us for a vote and uh, help out a Broadway theater at a time where Broadway's lights are off and they certainly need our help the most. This project would allow for to create an additional uh, FAR bonus uh, based on a uh, a pro provision of the zoning resolution related to the theater district and to allow them to transfer those developmental rights in exchange for uh, and to allow for the rehabilitation of their theater. Um, this project, as I noted, I, I think I first visited this theater three years ago, maybe almost four years ago at this point, right when it came into the council and have been working on this project for the last few years and uh, really think it's going to be a good project for the city and a good project for Broadway and part of our obligation to invest in the Broadway and our tourism sector here in New York City. Um, I want to say thank you again to uh, Chair Salamanca and Chair Moya who both were helping me as we got to the sort of last legs of this project to make sure that we got it uh, to the finish line. And I want to both say thank you and congratulate the folks at the Schubert organization for their work here. I know how important this project is to them and they have worked diligently over the last few weeks to get this project to the finish line. And so um, I think in the in, in just a matter of time, we'll be able to turn the lights back on on Broadway, but also be making here today an investment in one of the important organizations and the important theaters here in the theater district. So thank you. I encourage you all to vote aye. I'm very proud of where we are today on this project and uh, hope you all support it. Thank you. Back to the chair, Salamanca. Thank you, Council Mayor Powers and congratulations again on, on your hard work on this project. Uh, we will also vote to approve the modification pre-considers LU 720 and 721, the 42-0128th Avenue rezoning related to property in council member Constantinides district in Queens. The application as proposed seeks a zoning map amendment and related zoning tax amendment to facilitate the development of a new mixed use building with approximately 54 dwelling units, approximately 16 of which would be affordable, as well as ground floor commercial use. A modification will be, strike, will be to strike MIH option two while retaining option one. Members of the committee and members representing affected districts who have questions or remarks about today's items should use the raise hand button now. Council, will you announce members in the order their hands are raised? Yes, Chair Salamanca, I'm looking for uh, hands. I see no members with raised hands. Okay. Well, seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local members to approve LU 711 and 717 and to approve with modifications LU 712, 713, 720, and 721. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are couple. Chair Salamanca. Um, again, I would like to congratulate Councilmember Powers on, on your hard work on this project, and I would like to vote aye on all. Gibson. My warmest congratulations to Councilmember Keith Powers and your district on a great land use item today. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Barron. I request permission to explain my vote. Council Member Byron to explain her vote. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. Uh, I vote aye on all with the exception of two of the projects. And the reason that I'm abstaining on those two is because I think we're still not doing enough as a city to provide for housing that's affordable to those people who are at 60, 70, 80 percent of the AMI, which is where the bulk of the people in New York City are. So I vote aye on all with the exception of 711 and 720 and 721. Thank you. Thank you, council member. Thank you, my apologies. Okay, uh, council member Deutsch. Uh, aye and all. Who? 
I uh, and congratulations to Council Member Powers. Uh, I'm sorry, um, Mr. Mr. Clerk, uh, Mr. Um, can you please yes. call uh, Council Member Traeger next? Sure, Council Member Traeger. Thank you very much, Chair, for your help. I, I vote aye. Thank you. Gorenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Ayala. Council Member Ayala. We'll come back to her. Sure. Am I being Diaz. Called? Oh, she's on. Uh, yes, Council Member Ayala. I vote aye. Thank you. Ruben Diaz. I vote aye. Thank you, sir. Moya. Congratulations to uh, Council Member Powers uh, on his uh, work here today. It's a great project and uh, you worked tremendously hard to make this happen. Um, so congratulations to you. Uh, I'll be voting aye, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Rivera. Aye. Thank you. Riley. Uh, thank you. Congratulations to my birthday twin, Council Member Powers. Uh, I would like to vote aye on all. Okay. Borelli. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Miller. Vote aye. Thank you. One moment. Council Member Reynoso. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't see Council Member Levin. So, okay. By vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items are adopted by the Land Use Committee with the following land use items 711, 720, and 721, which are adopted by a vote of 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for five minutes. Thank you.
Morning, Council Member Levin. Good morning. I apologize. I was on another call. Uh, uh, is there vote is open for you? Vote roll. Okay, I vote aye on all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Final vote committee uh, land use. LUs 717, 712, and 713 are adopted by the committee. 17 in the affirmative, zero the negative, and no abstentions. And land use items 711, 720, and 721 are adopted by the committee. 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you, clerk. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, and annual staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>